What is going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the secret stoner blueprint. Now this blueprint is different than other blueprints since you don't have to go to a behemoth and sneak right by him or enter a sentinel or the wolves camp to pick up this blueprint. This blueprint is done by a sequence of steps and in this video I'll show you how to get it. So let's dive into it. So to begin this quest for the stoner LMG blueprint we need to pick up a side mission called Ghost of the Past and you can get that at Erwan from Mashos. Now this quest is going to have you searching for an old buddy of Mashos that he lost contact with back in the days when he was in the military. So your first step is going to be heading over to the last known location of his buddy and when you're there you end up picking up some intel which includes a badge and some Russian cigarettes. After that, you need to head to the next village that is near us and speak to the homesteaders that live there. And then they're going to give you some more information to continue on with this side mission. Now, after you speak to a homesteader that lives in the nearby village, they will give you information to continue on with your side mission. You'll be heading to your first camp. Now, this is going to be guarded by Sentinel soldiers, so be very careful when you go in there to grab the intel. Now, the facility you need to go to are some ancient ruins, and it's not too far from where you spoke to the last homesteader i recommend keeping your helicopter nearby that way when you need to go from point a to point b you can get there pretty quick now once you arrive to the ancient ruins you need to acquire three pieces of intel now there's going to be one piece of intel in a two-story building and then there will be two other pieces of intel side by side in a smaller building just right outside of the main building where you go to pick up your first piece of intel so the first piece of intel in the second story building is going to be on the bottom floor in the very back on one of the desks. And as soon as you investigate that intel, you'll get the little notification that says, okay, we're done with this part of the side mission. Then we just have to head to grab the next two pieces, which I told you were going to be in, it looks like some old barracks. You want to pick up one piece of intel and right next to it is going to be the second piece of intel. So grab both of these. And the next step of this mission is going to tell us that we need to find a bunker. Now to find this bunker, we need to head back to the village where we spoke to the original homesteaders and then they're going to give us the Hello. clues to where this bunker is located. Now after you talk to this homesteader, we finally know where the bunker is so that Appreciate is going to be the well. next step. So now we're going to head over there. Now once you get close to it, you'll get the little notification that says, hey, we found the bunker. So we're one step closer. Now we can kind of find out what happened to Cal. But before you do step into the bunker, make sure you take out the two Sentinel soldiers and then you can head inside without having to worry about them attacking. As soon as you're inside, you'll investigate the skeleton that's laying on the ground. You'll find some information that leads you to believe that this is Cal because it has the ring that is the same ring that's in the picture with Mad Shaw. So Cal and Mad Shaw's had that picture that you investigated earlier. Of course, you figure that out. Now you just need to keep going down and gather some more information on what could have happened. Now as you investigate the bunker, on one of the walls there looks like there's a blueprint to building an explosive device. So you take some pictures of that and then you just need to head back to speak to Matt Shaws and ask him what his thoughts on it are. Once you arrive back to Erwan, speak to Matt Shaws. He's going to tell you that he doesn't really know what Cal could have been involved in. He was always a good dude but let him think about it and he'll get back to you. Now this is another mission you have to wait for it to give you the notification to come back and speak to him. It says return to him at a later date. I tried using the bivouac. I tried fast forwarding the time. You know how like you can select when you come out of a bivouac. It didn't work. I ended up doing another side mission or another quest and after I completed that one, then it said I could go back and finally speak to him. So the next side mission we're doing Shows. is called Critical Mass oh. and that is the one that's gonna reward us with the stoner blueprint. So we end up heading out to another facility that is guarded by Sentinel soldiers, and we're trying to figure out what the key card opens that we found, right? You remember the clue that we found in the last mission, we had a key card, and we wanna know what this key card opens. So we need to gather intel at the Howard port, which is guarded by these Sentinel soldiers. But you should be able to get in here pretty easy. I didn't have any trouble. I walked right in and the intel was right there. I just grabbed it. And that was it. Once you finish the intel here, we'll get the location of a camp that we need to go to. And we're one step closer to getting the stoner blueprint. Now, if you're also looking for the SASG blueprint, it's going to be at the same facility. But remember, you can't just pick up this stoner blueprint. We have to continue on with the steps. 
but you can just pick up that SASG blueprint if you want. Some tips to get in here without being detected because if you are doing this on extreme with no HUD like I, I did, it's going to be a little tough. I recommend coming in through the top right above the main entrance because it's a tunnel, right? There is going to be a sniper you need to drop early on, so as long as you snipe him, you're good. But if you can get to this top right right here and then make it across, this is a really good place to set up your sink shot, right? So this is a great place for you to set up your sink shot, drop the enemies here, and then get in. I was having a lot of trouble with this initially because I was trying to just take them out. They would alert everybody. There's an alarm system. There is an auto turret there. So this is a great place. And then you just have to drop this fourth guy right here. So there's always four guys guarding this main entrance. And then, of course, the fifth sniper up top. So as long as you take out the sniper first, come on the other side, drop the three guys with the sink shot, and then drop in, you should be able to get in pretty easy. So the intel that we need to grab is going to be right next to the SASG blueprint. So you get two birds with one stone. There are three guys in here, so be very careful. Make sure you drop them and don't get caught. So you need to take out the three guys in here first or figure out how you want to take them out. And then you can grab the blueprint, grab the intel that you need. So after you eliminate them, grab the SASG blueprint and then go grab that intel. So as soon as you consult that intel, you know how you usually consult the intel and then it shows you another clue. The next clue is right in this building. It's a map right, right in the same exact room. So you'll take pictures of that map and then we need to find out where this gentleman's club is, right? Where is the gentleman's club? That is the next place underground base map. So that's what we took a picture of. And then we have the gentleman's club right here. And if you remember when we first came in, there was an underground road tunnel headed off to the left, but we ended up going into the rooms to the right to go grab this intel, right? So we need to head on out. There's gonna be two vehicles in front of a generator. You can turn off the generator if you want to have the lights off, it's up to you. But take this tunnel to the right, and just follow it all the way down and it's gonna take you right where you need to be. Now there are gonna be a lot of Sentinel soldiers guarding this area, so just get ready for the bum rush as soon as you trigger because there's no way I found out that you can get in here s sneaky. There's, there's just no way. There's just so many of them. As soon as you kill one or two, somebody finds out, somebody gets alerted, and I figured out just being fast, quick, just trying to drop everything as quick as possible was my best bet in getting here. And I was doing this on extreme, so if you guys are doing it on extreme or maybe even a lesser setting, maybe it won't be as hard, but on extreme, they just kept coming and coming. But once you clear out the area, there's gonna be a door that requires that key card, right? Remember the key card that we had? Then we can get into the first doorway that we need to get into. And then you're just gonna follow this all the way down until you get to another door that requires you to open it. But the problem is it needs power. So you're gonna need to follow the wire going from the door all the way to the generator and there's gonna be a generator for you to open now this side is blocked right here so you just need to go around and then turn on the generator and then go back to that door so now that we turned on the power right now that door should open for us right so just you know follow the cord all the way back if you forget if you get lost head all the way back the generator is enabled right now so go back to that doorway now when you do open up this door there's gonna be one sentinel soldier in there and that this was on extreme so i don't know if it changes but there is one guy in here just making sure you guys take him out and then we're almost done with this we're almost done with this look what we have in front of us we have that explosive device that we found the blueprints for right so it was already in production and they, they want to use it so we need to get rid of this so there's the manual that's right next to where the device is so you wanna pick that up. Then there's also the blueprints on the wall. You wanna take a picture. So after you take a picture of that one, make sure you consult both. So you're always gonna to wanna to consult all the intel here. And then we can actually go to the triggering device itself, which is gonna be right behind us. So once you interact with this, it's going to say that the bomb is armed. Make sure you leave the area within, I think it's 20 seconds. If you don't, you can end up dying and the mission, you have to redo it all over. Close the door, and as long as you do that within the 20 seconds, you're gonna kind of see like the explosion goes off. So we saved the day again, right? And then now we just have to go ta talk to Matt Shaw's at Irwan. And after you tell him about the bomb, after you tell him about everything that happened, the mission is complete. Finish speaking to him, and then you'll get that critical pass mission complete. 
And there we go. We have 100% complete this. And then look at our reward. We get one stoner. So you'll get one stoner LMG as a reward. But then you also get the stoner blueprint, which you can't get unless you do these series of steps. So now we have the stoner blueprint. We're going to head to the shop. We're going to craft that blueprint, right? So we got a purple tier. It has 20% range, negative 20% um, technique cooldown. It has pretty decent accuracy handling, nice range, mobility, and recoil for LMG. This is Mark 1 still. I haven't fully upgraded it, but it has all the attachments you can put on it. So if you're looking at getting this stoner blueprint in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, the only way to do it is by doing these series of steps. Hopefully this helped. Leave a thumbs up if you found this video useful. I tried to give you guys a little bit more tips and tricks on exactly what you guys need to do. Hopefully you guys don't get stuck like I got stuck while trying to complete this. Thank you guys again. Leave a thumbs up. And as always, if you have any questions, let me know. Until the next Ghost Recon Breakpoint video, nothing but skills out. <laughs>